Welcome to our introduction to the 1951 movie detective story. In this video, we're diving into the world of crime and drama from the 1950s. But hold on tight because there are many interesting, surprising, and emotional facts coming up, so keep watching. Detective Story is an exciting film that follows the life of a determined detective as he deals with crime and justice. Set in a busy city, the movie explores the tough world of criminals and the relentless pursuit of truth by law enforcement. What makes this movie special are its fascinating characters and exciting plot twists. As you watch, you'll find yourself on the edge of your seat, eagerly waiting for each revelation and unexpected event. Now, we want to hear from you. What's your favorite memory or personal experience related to this film? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Keep exploring the world of cinema with us, and remember, there's always more to learn. Stay tuned for more fascinating insights and discussions. Detective Story, released in 1951, had a big effect on movies. Its influence still affects crime dramas today. The movie looks at human nature and what's right and wrong. It shows what goes on in a police station and the people there in a way that still matters in stories today. One reason Detective Story stays important is because it deals with tough choices about what's right. The movie talks about justice, making up for mistakes, and what happens when you do something wrong. This exploring of gray areas connects with people no matter when they watch it. Also, the characters in Detective Story are well made. The main character, Detective McCloud, is flawed because of things that happened to him in the past. This makes him more real and helps viewers understand his struggles. Moreover, the film's ideas about lying and betraying are always relevant. As Detective McCloud finds out about lies in his station, it shows how complicated relationships between people can be and how anyone can betray someone else. Overall, Detective Story matters because it deals with things everyone can understand and talk about. It stays important because it tells a good story with real feeling characters. In Detective Story, cinematographer John F. Sates, though uncredited, shot the final three weeks of production. Director William Wyler had previously collaborated with Gladys George and Kathy O'Donnell five years earlier on The Best Years of Our Lives. In this film, O'Donnell portrayed Wilma, while George took on the role of Hostense. During a crucial scene, when Charlie attempts to reach for Detective Callahan's holstered gun, Detective McCloud urgently warns, watch the Roscoe. Here, Roscoe serves as a street term for a handgun. The film captures the complexities of crime and justice in a compelling narrative that unfolds with gripping tension. Detective Story, released in 1951, features notable references and performances. In the film, Detective Brody mentions the USS Juno, a light cruiser sunk during the Battle of Guadalcanal in November 1942. The loss of the USS Juno was particularly significant due to the deaths of five brothers from the Sullivan family. Horace McMahon, Joseph Weissman, Michael Strong, and Lee Grant reprised their roles from the stage production for the movie. Additionally, in an interesting anecdote related to the film, when MGM approached a prominent actor to replace Ricardo Montalban in another project, he refused until discussing it with Montalban himself, who was in training for the role. Montalban, appreciative of the actor's concern, ultimately understood the studio's position and relinquished the role. Detective Story not only showcases remarkable performances, but also references significant historical events, offering viewers a blend of entertainment and cultural depth. Detective Story, released in 1951, is important for several reasons. The Lux Radio Theater aired a 60-minute radio adaptation on April 26, 1954, featuring Kirk Douglas and Eleanor Parker reprising their roles from the film. This radio version gave people another way to enjoy the essence of the story, Notably, Detective Story marks the final film in Catherine Doucette's career. She earned a Best Supporting Actress Oscar nomination in 1952 for her role, making her the third earliest surviving nominee in this category as of 2022. This makes her nomination special, following Anne Blythe and Nancy Olsen. Catherine Doucette's performance in the movie showed her talent and earned her a place in Oscar history. The length of time her nomination record has lasted makes the film even more historically important. The movie becomes a snapshot of achievements and recognition in cinema. In summary, Detective Story's influence goes beyond just being a movie. The Lux Radio Theater adaptation and Catherine Doucette's final performance contribute to the lasting significance of the film in entertainment history. In 1951, a movie called Detective Story became famous for a few reasons. 
It was the first movie for Burt Mustin, who started acting in films at 67 years old. Before that, he mostly did stage shows. The director, William Wyler, noticed him during a play in 1949 and gave him a chance in Hollywood, starting with Detective Story. The character of Detective McCloud was supposed to be played by Alan Ladd originally, but things changed and someone else got the role. The movie was based on a play by Sidney Kingsley and William Wyler asked Dashiell Hammett to write the screenplay. However, Hammett gave back the money and said he couldn't do it after three weeks because people were accusing him of being a communist, which made it hard for him to work in Hollywood. Detective Story, with its interesting casting choices and the involvement of people like Burt Mustin and Dashiell Hammett, shows how unpredictable making movies can be, especially with the challenges they faced. In 1951, a movie called Detective Story marked Lee Grant's first appearance on the big screen. She got an Oscar nomination for her role, but later faced trouble because she refused to testify against her then-husband, Arnold Manoff. Despite these challenges, her performance in the film showed off her talent and led her to a great career. In the movie, Pierre Angeli also starred and reportedly got engaged during the filming of another project called The Story of Three Loves. So, while drama played out on screen, love found its way into the lives of the people working behind the scenes. After Detective Story, Grant took on different roles that showed how good she was at acting. From playing Doc Holliday on Maverick to voicing Detective Boston Blackie on the radio, she kept audiences interested with her charm and talent. Even though there were controversies in her personal life, Grant stayed focused on her acting. Her work in entertainment stands as proof of how strong and talented she was. This story, with its mix of success and challenges, shows how Detective Story and the people who made it left their mark on the movie world. Detective Story from 1951 features a cast with notable backgrounds. For instance, William Bendix, known for roles in the Palm Beach story and It's a Wonderful Life, once served as a bat boy for the New York Yankees, earning favor with Babe Ruth. However, it was in 1948 when Bendix portrayed Ruth in a film. In the original play adapted for the movie, a character named Dr. Schneider was involved in illegal abortions. Due to production code regulations, director William Wyler altered the character's occupation to that of running a baby farm, a front for discreetly handling unwed mothers' births and placing their babies in orphanages. Detective Stories cast brings varied experiences to the screen, enriching the portrayal of its characters' complexities. Eleanor Parker, known for her ability to play various roles, took on a different look in the movie Detective Story, where she played a character with dark hair instead of her usual blonde. Despite this change, her preference for being blonde was clear. She even told the director of another movie she was working on, Scaramouch, that she wanted to stay blonde. So, in Detective Story, they used fancy red wigs, which made filming tricky. Surprisingly, Parker later started to like being a redhead after wearing those red wigs. She first appeared as a redhead in The Naked Jungle in 1954, which was a big change for her on-screen look. But there was one time she went back to being a blonde in the movie Interrupted Melody in 1955, where she played a blonde singer. Eleanor Parker's connection to Detective Story goes beyond just her appearance in the movie. It's interesting to note that she died on the same day as her co-star Kirk Douglas' 97th birthday, which adds a sad touch to the movie's story. It's worth mentioning how short Parker's role in Detective Story was. Even though she was only in the movie for 20 minutes and 10 seconds, she got nominated for an Oscar for Best Actress. That's the shortest performance ever to get such an important nomination. Dame Judi Dench holds the record for the second shortest performance to win an Oscar, which was just 5 minutes and 52 seconds in Shakespeare in Love. In short, Detective Story not only showed Eleanor Parker's ability to change her appearance, but also left a strong impression with her short, yet praised performance, making it a standout moment in her impressive career.